I'm under my squat rack and I'm loading up the barbell on my shoulders. It's really heavy and I'm preparing to rip out some squats. I take the I step out from the rack and distance my feet apart and I go down to perform the squat, but I realize I can't even go down all the way. My hips are too tight. I can't even do a simple squat because of the thing that I've been neglecting. It's at this moment that I realized how much I've been neglecting the act of stretching. I got super big into bodybuilding and like working out and stuff, but I realized that working out a ton, it makes you uh, very stiff and not flexible. In order to counteract that, we need to implement stretching. It's at that moment I realized the importance of stretching and how much I've been neglecting it. I've always had the worst hip flexibility ever. It's actually super embarrassing how bad of hip flexibility I have. A long time ago, I tried learning the middle splits because I saw this video and I got like inspired. I'm like, I want to learn to do the middle splits. Anyways, I go about doing it. I tried doing it for like 30 days, longer than 30 days, and I made like no progress. I realized I have the worst hip flexibility and I've never even noticed that. But now since really now it's starting to impact my life in a negative way. We sit down all day, we're very stationary, we sit at our desks, and we never really, most of us have pretty bad hip flexibility. So generally I'll try like, I'll do like calf kicks on people. I try, you know like the MMA calf kick? My hip flexibility is so bad that I can't even like actually calf kick. The like, the one you think doesn't even need that much flexibility. I can't even do that because I can't stretch my hips out enough to actually do the kick. <laughs> I've been neglecting stretching for the longest time and it's about time. Me personally, I've started implementing stretching into my routine. And real quickly, I want to talk to you guys about the importance of stretching and why stretching is so important in the first place. So I think we all know the value of stretching, but I'm just gonna go over it real quick. Is it decreases your risk of injury. It helps your joints move through their full range of motion. It increases muscular blood flow, enables your muscles to work more effectively. That's just a Google thing. I want to relate a similar story about stretching to David Goggins. David Goggins, he um, credits stretching to saving his life, basically. He, I was reading his book, and I, I, I'm just going to recite this from memory, but he got like a giant clump or whatever on the back of his neck. And he was having a bunch of these health problems and he couldn't run. He would try doing some marathon or whatever and he couldn't even run correctly. He was always run out of like he'd gas out or whatever. He just wouldn't be able to continue and he didn't know what the problem was for the longest time. And he was like on he felt like he was on his deathbed. He couldn't do anything and his health was ever so slowly declining. But he remembered like something back in SEAL camp or whatever about stretching, the importance of stretching. How Navy SEALs, they'll be working, they'll be doing these tons of flutter kicks, they'll be absolutely punishing their bodies, doing all this hard stuff, and their muscles get super stiff, and then they have trouble, they don't get blood flow to their muscles. And that's what David Goggins was experiencing. He was working, his body was had so many miles on it, he was working so hard. And his muscles were so tight, they're like steel cables. He couldn't even get blood flow to his muscles because of how tight they were. He started stretching. He started stretching like all day, every day. And his muscles started to improve. He started getting blood flow and stretching essentially saved his life. So now let's get into the logistics. What are logistics anyway? So let's talk about the best time to stretch. The best time to stretch is going to be after physical activity, like running, working out, whenever your muscles are warm. It's not necessarily before working out. Before working out, you want to warm up your body just so you don't like injure yourself on some heavy lift, like maybe do some light lifting just to warm up. But the best time is after because your muscles are going to be warm and they're going to be able to stretch more. Your muscles are like cheese, I guess. Cheese, when it's super stiff, like a stick of cheese, when it's super stiff, it's really not flexible. It's going to break if you try to pull it too much. But if you warm up the cheese, it's like bendy, it's flexible. That's your muscles. 
you're going to be able to get into a deeper stretch. You're going to be able to perform better and get more out of a stretch and progress way quicker if you do it after a workout when they're warm. That's when I, that's when I work out. I've implemented it to my routine. So every day after my workout, I will stretch for like five minutes. That's just a habit. I put on my habit tracker. Now, what kind of stretching do I do? I just hold like static stretches, like the hip flexor stretch, the hamstring stretch, just all that stuff. I just work on the muscles that need the most attention, like my hips, my legs. Generally, my entire low, lower body is stiff as hell, like my legs. I'll do hip flexor stretches, hamstrings. I'll do like child's pose for my back that kind of gets like stiff. So how long should you be stretching for? Generally, like 10 minutes is 10 minutes for casual stretching. Unless you're like an extreme case like David Goggins and you need to stretch out for like an hour every day. Yeah, so if you want to like level up your stretching, I guess, like 30 minutes for people really trying to increase their flexibility. But just for casual stretchers, it's going to be 10 minutes. You shouldn't need any more than that. Thank you for watching this video. If you could do me a favor and check out the first link in the description. It's my Discord community. It's the only thing I sell. I sell a mentorship. I sell one-on-one -on -one co coaching there. If you do me a favor and check out the first link in the description. Thank you for watching.